the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. And good evening and welcome to USJ's Gymnasium where tonight the Jackson Christian Eagles will take on the USJ Bruins in a big time rivalry. I'm Coach Joe Holloway along with the finest color man in America, Brian Bullard, and he's going to have to do a little more talking than normal tonight as I have had one of those spells that some of you know about with the uh, black mold that I got exposed to at Lewis County High School. But, Brian, I'm looking forward to a knockdown, drag-out game. Yeah, you, you know, this is where Friday nights when, when it's in uh, J- December, January, February, you want to be a uh, big uh, region matchup uh, for both teams and both teams, uh, girls and boys, um, having really successful seasons and uh, looking forward to some really good basketball tonight. Um, in, a, in a really good atmosphere, um, so looking for two good basketball games. Absolutely. Then we'll follow. You think it uh, won't get tougher? That boys game ought to be a knockdown drag out too. Uh, we had one, especially at our gymnasium last year, that was a real tooth and nail biter and very physical, and uh, we're looking forward to that one too, Brian. Yeah, both teams playing uh, really well um, coming off. Christmas tournaments and things were a lot of success and um, you know our guys have, have got the full squad going now and, and gotten everybody healthy and eligible and all those things that come along with that and so um, you know you're still trying to gel still trying to get in sync um, but being led by of course senior Aiden Shaw and um, so we're, we're excited about that boys matchup but you know in in this girls game uh, we know what we're uh, we're up against and really good offensive players really good team they play hard they're well coached um you know our girls have have been in this game and um i think last year uh, at our place we're a little shell shocked and then came over here um and and fought them a little bit a little bit harder i would say coach Hughes was a little more pleased with that game um but you you just want to come out and in the name of the game is is uh being able to um, control airs and, and trying to do your best the best you can on her um, and then you know try not to let the other girls which they're very capable um, beach offensively absolutely and we know Tony well a very good coach nothing more than a victory on this court would please him but he's not going to show all his guns tonight he's going to have a strategy for tonight he'll have a strategy for the next time they play him and I got a feeling these two teams are going to see each other down the road in the region. I, I think that's fair to say. Um, and I would, I haven't seen, you know, we're going on our district region run now. Um, so we'll see everybody in the next few weeks. But I, I, I would venture to say that um, these are two of your top teams in this region. Um, and, and so, you know, anytime you can square off like that, it's, it's going to be a good night. It really is. And, of course, before we take our first break, Uh, We want to appraise you of next Tuesday when we're at home with the broadcast. We will come on at 540 and maybe even a second or two earlier. We're going to have an outstanding crew of interviews. First of all, Darby Palmer, our great young head coach and athletic director, is going to be on with us. Secondly, we've got a new coach. We'll keep that, although many people won't be surprised. And, of course, always going to have Kyle Teichman. And uh, who knows who else we're going to hear from. And we've got TCA coming to our house, and that should be a ball game and a half too. But today, and I've been touched with all our signees because we don't turn out anything but good kids at Jackson Christian. Had a little tear in my eye when Daniel Green signed. Uh, Daniel started with the varsity when I came on full time. And uh, he's been a very pleasant young man, a great young man. I can actually put the term he is a great American on that young man. Yeah, it was a big day, uh, Jackson Christian, for him, uh, being able to, you know, fulfill that that commitment and sign with um, UT Chat and, you know, excited to see what he does um, in the future and, you know, a lot of good things today. And so um, really excited for him and and his future in football. Well, if we make connections because he is – 
headed to Mississippi. He is supposed to be on at 1040 tomorrow on the Saturday Sports Roundup on WNWS.com. David Thomas of our staff came out and did a great story on him, which was posted first on the top three stories of the day, and it may by this time have moved over to just the local sports part of it. But he'll be on tomorrow, and good things happening at Jackson Christian School. Uh, if you want to send your children to a school that's going to get a good education, but even better than that, they're going to teach them how to be good, Christ-like people. It's the place to be. So if that's my shameless announcement, I'm behind it 100%. There you go. All right, let's take a break. We're going to take a three-minute break, and when we come back, more pregame. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and Go Eagles! Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And we are back here. Paul Schultz, he's had us photo struck. He's taking a picture. Of course, we all our crew is up here. We, I would wave at him, but he's doing a good job. Our executive producer. Seven minutes, 36 seconds. Brian, you've told them a little bit about what you expect, but what else should we look, what little things should we look for? Yeah, I, I think the, the big key, um, and I didn't have a chance to talk to Coach Shoots this morning, but to me, the we have to take care of the basketball. Um, we, we can't turn it over. We have to end our – end our possessions with a shot um, and, you know, attack the offensive boards like our girls are, are very good at. Um, but, you know, if we turn it over – and, and lead to easy baskets and, and give them um, opportunities without us getting a shot that that will play right into their hands. And so we, we have to take care of the ball, um, and then we have to do a really good job rebounding as usual. Um, and everybody's got to rebound, guards, post, everybody. Um, and, you know, you do your best you can 
uh, with Halen and, and just hope that, um, you know, they're, they're tough, though. You know, they, they've got a lot of pieces, Coach, that, that make them a really talented ball club. Um, so we, we know the task ahead of us. Um, we just have to, to go out and execute and take care of the basketball. Absolutely. They'll play some 2-3 zone. They also like to trap. They can play man-to-man, but they really like their trap defense. And uh, they gave Greenfield some trouble with it for a while in a game I was able to see a little of. And, of course, they're going to go to Ayers. And they have not done as well in the game where teams have shut her down, but you can only shut her down. No great score can be shut out completely. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. You, you just have to try to challenge her shots. Um, she's going to use her length. She's going to use her ability to get to the basket. Um, and, and you have to limit the easy ones um, and, and just make it difficult, force her to shoot over the top and, um, you know, then then finish the possession. There is a chance that Ava Barham, their po- senior post player, will play for them. She's had an injury, and I believe that injury came in soccer, but we don't know if we will see her tonight. She wears 21. They haven't, they, you know, it's not like the pros where they have to hand it out injury lists and stuff like that. And, uh, I was a coach, and I was kind of closed-mouthed about injuries, too, sometimes. And uh, that will be interesting. As far as I know, our crew is completely healthy. Yeah. I don't I don't know of any restrictions or anything that we have going on. Um, you know, we getting Carly back in the swing of things, and I'm good to have that presence back in there, uh, physicality and, and what she brings to the team. And, and so, you know, we, sh- we should be full go tonight. Absolutely. We're going to take another timeout of – Two minutes in length, and we'll come back with pregame ceremonies and things like that. Let's take that two-minute timeout. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care. And let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. We are back here waiting two minutes and 44 seconds. In just a few moments, Brian will bring you the starting lineups for both teams. And we're even Steve Beverly, the fine commentator for USJ, who works for Worthy Road Studios also, as we've got two different feeds tonight. We've got our feed on the Jackson Christian Facebook and on the ball game blitz part of Worthy Road Studios. And uh, they have a feed too. Uh, he did not know who was going to start. A couple of things for them. Ayers you can book on. You can book on Lily Teague starting. You can book on King starting. After that, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, they, they, I, I believe the word that I heard on Ava Barham was maybe some limited minutes. So she may be back in there or not. Who, who knows? Um, they're probably trying not to push her um, too much as she gets back into the swing of things. Speaking of limited minutes, uh, 
Carly Holt is back playing and has had some impressive numbers, but her minutes have been limited. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't want to – anytime you got a player coming off those kind of injuries, you don't want to rush her back too much. And, but, you know, she – like I said earlier, she brings that physical presence that, um, you know, in games like this you need. Um, and so it's going to be a physical game, and it always is, and it's excited to see her play tonight. We are just about ready. We do not have an agenda on what – procedures we will take when we're at home we know and we will have a game every Tuesday and Friday night the rest of the season barring the S word meaning snow coming in who knows we may play even if it snows maybe it'll be late enough that we'll be through and on the way home if we're on the road and if we're at home hopefully the other team we're through and they're on the way home and I'm going to turn it over to Brian and let's see Well, let's take a minute time out for the National Anthem. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. And we are back. America's Greatest Song, and now here he is. Without further ado, Brian Bullard. Starting lineups for your Lady Eagles tonight. Starting at guard, number two, Riley Bradford. Starting at four, number 11, Taylor Baines. And at four, number 22, senior Lenny Yarbrough. At guard, number 30, junior Gibson Boykin. And the final starter at guard, number 34, is junior Tess Little. Lady Eagles coached by Tony Schutz, assisted by Kim Watson and Coach Kristen Moore. And the starting lineups for the USJ Lady Bruins. Starting at guard number three, Ellen Driver. Number 15, sophomore Sophie King. Number 10, sophomore Mia Spellings at guard. Number 20, Number, excuse me, number 20, Halen Ayer. She's a freshman. And number one, Lily Teague is a freshman. Uh, Lady Bruins coached by Joel Ayers, assisted by Ashley Ayers. Well, I found out my phone is good for something. <laughs> but, gosh, it came up on an ad content for a luxury cruise. I don't think that's going to be happening that's anytime right. soon. And... Uh, Let's see if we can get the old Facebook going here. Brian Bullard, Coach Joe Holloway, and it looks like Ayers will jump. It's going to jump against Taylor Baines. And the tip is controlled by USJ. Uh, 
Harris pops out, keep an eye on that. She'll drive. I think it's off her, and I agree with the call, Brian. Yeah, good defense there by Gibson, cutting off the baseline, forcing the turnover early. They start with their full court press. They have matched up, but they'll try to double team any chance they get. Good job that time by Riley Bradford. They are, it looks like they're going to play switching man-to-man, -man or is it a zone? Let's run a, run a cutter through is one sure way to tell it. It's man-to-man. -man. Well, we go one four high, send the cutter through. Here's Gibson Boykin. Small hole, got up just a little hard. She gets her own rebound, Brian. Second effort off the back of the iron, rebound in there. We left it a little short, and it looks like they're going to come up with it. Yeah, got to finish those. Good effort there, good couple opportunities. And looks like the first foul of the game. Gibson picking that up, just, just kind of riding her there with the body. Yeah, Gibson doesn't need to pick up fouls early. We steal it. Inside Yarber, she goes up. That's the Yarber I like to see right there. Yeah, good steal, direct post entry there, and a good finish. Nice patience by Elena. Extended the zone a little bit. Yeah, we did. And make them work a little harder. Tig wearing five this year, not one like she has last year or in middle school when she was playing there. And that's I think that's four possessions and three turnovers, if I'm not mistaken, Coach, early. Uh, I believe you could be right. I anticipated the smaller space, so I didn't bring all my stat gear yep. with me. Here we go again uh, with the drive. Nice feed inside to the call the jump ball. Very interesting. We'll get possession since they won the tip, but it's still an interesting call. I haven't ever understood how you can wrap part of the body up and still get That's a, a jump tough, ball. That's a tough jump ball there. We throw it out deep to Bradford. Back over to Tess Little, who can bomb that three if she gets a chance. Spacing not real good though right now, bro. Yeah, we got to get it spaced. Good drive, almost got a foul on Ayers, and we did get. There's no almost on that three-pointer. Great Riley. drive by Gibson, big time yeah. shot. Riley Bradford dropped that one. It didn't even touch the net. See, we're a little more conscious of dropping on those wing players early yeah. in the game. I think she double dribbled there. That's illegal, yeah. Not set. Yeah. Being an offensive foul. And, Brian, I'll have to let you pick up the fouls because I am not in a good spot to yeah, pick them up. Yeah, that was on number three, Ellen Driver, her first. Okay. We split it, then they reach back in and stole it. They're going to take it to the hole. Good block. I'll be honest, I think the referee missed when we had our foot out of bounds. Yeah, and I thought there was a lot of body contact as well. It, it is, and you got to get control of that stuff early in a basketball or football game, either one when you have that. And that's definitely a foul, but at least you get your money's worth out of it. Let's see if we can see a little bit. He turns a little better. I can see both hands on his. The line That's on Yarber. That Sends Ayers to the line. USJ waiting to score. They have not scored yet. Shot it. Got it. String music as the late Jodine would say, and it's 5-2. Little yo-yo dribble that time got, had to be out of bounds. Yeah, that's number 10, Mia Spellings there, sophomore into the game. And even though their numbers are low like ours are as the number of players, USJ very aggressive. And they're loaded with freshmen on this team, only one senior. Yep, a lot of young talent. A 
Coach Schuess wanting us to, to change sides of the floor. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Almost looked like she fell before there was contact there. Yeah, uh, they, they work on drawing charges and stuff. And now we get to steal. There's the pass to Boykin. Got it. And the pass made the play then. Good job there by Gibson not to charge. Very good body control. Now we trap, they'll kick it out of it. But we've got them operating out of their range, although Ayer says she'll take it and she hit it. She is capable of doing that. Much like the young lady at Iowa, Caitlin Clark. Yeah, that was a deep one. It's still not a high percentage shot, though. But if you're feeling it, sometimes you got to throw it up there. 7-5 the score, Jackson Christian with the lead. Boykin, we go high one four again. They pick up the cutter. Now they're going to double team the dribbler a lot of times if we come off that screen. Garber shot misses. Ayers wants to run. She catches it running. We make her give it up. It's going into backcourt, Brian. Yeah, it's their, their fifth one, Coach. They're a little bit out of sync. A lot of that is our defensive pressure. Able to, able to kind of get them sped up a little bit. I so, like Elena taking that shot. She doesn't take many of them, so it makes them have to come out and respect her a little she bit. She can hit that shot. Holt and Barnes coming into the game. Thought she was going to use the double screen. Tess looking, looking. And we're going to reset our offense. Wow. That's got to be a block there. That's, L, that's driver's second yeah. there. And this looks like Barham making her first appearance. And it is. Gibson lifts it a little short. One look at Barnes go after him. Yes, Jay, with some nice ball movement, but it's got to be quicker than that. We're filling the gaps. Yeah, tonight. doing a good job there defending airs at the high post as well. Barham's not going to shoot that one. Dig with it. We have a running trap coming after. Here's Ayers. Stops, pops from about 12 rolls off the rim. Rebound, fought forward. Barham should have been over the back. And she was. A little anxious yep. to get some action. Good box out, good position there. Another foul. This one should be on Spellings. Were you going to see us throw the home run ball or the touchdown pass here in a minute? They're playing with no safety man. Yep. And it's man-to-man -man hookup. Tess Little with the basketball. Barnes needs to get a little deeper on posting up. Carly Holt, give her credit there, Brian. Great job. Getting her on her hip and going back to the weak side. It's a great move by Carly. Well, we didn't drop quick enough, but they make the errant pass. Yep. The foul there by number 12, Lita Rose. Tess will shoot two. We're doing a good job of getting that ball to the corner and then hitting that, that guard on the run there. Tess's first free throws, shot it, got it, and that was string music too. I'm sure Tess's grandparents are listening, they always are. 
Second That's a violation, yeah. Iron, she's going to get another shot, isn't she? Yes, you're right, Brian. Uh, the Stewarts, the grandparents of uh, Daniel Green, said they listened to you and I, but they didn't miss a football game. There you go. See, our good buddy Shane Sisko was watching. Well, we get the rebound. Minute 40. Gibson with a little dribble drive, step back jumper. Dang. Good for three. She's got five on the corner. I thought she should have shot the first one, but she liked that one better, Coach. Knocked it down. I'm going to applaud either one of them. That's right. Here's the trap. We block it. I see an excited young man named Tony Shute. Coach, the coach is fired up over there now. I'm going to tell you what, give him a uniform. Let's put him out there. He, that's as active as I've seen him in a long time. 13-5, the Lady Eagles ahead. Here's Tig with the basketball. Yep, back she was over and back. Unofficially, I think that's seven, Coach, in this first quarter. I think you're pretty close to right, and if you're not right, it'll be a miracle. That's – and, folks, well, I'll have all my pads with me when they come to our house. Sorry didn't bring them tonight. Fine performance so far by the Lady Eagles. 13-5 with a minute 10 to go, as you see on the clock that we always have. There's the drive. Saw some contact, but I guess since you didn't draw blood, you don't call it. Yeah, and I think she might have to go into her a little bit more. Yeah. Carly Holt was recognizing At that time our wing has to come and help quicker than Carly. Bar Rotate over and, and make yeah. sure we're covering those gaps. Not a terrible foul. Maybe see if we can make her earn it at the line. Yep. And Barham, a pretty good free throw shooter, and that'll help her get a little loose. Shot off, rebound by Carly Holt. Of course, I know her parents are here, but they go back and watch it. Lou Ann, her mother, one of my former players. Plays those great north side teams. Oh, here's a good loop. We didn't get anything out of it. We executed it. I know like Tony wanted it done. They hedge a whole lot, they being USJ. Oh, that's a foul. You're reaching and holding. Good pass. Here it comes. Three up, three down. Gibson Boykin. Excellent job there, sneaking back to the corner. Shot by USJ at the end of the quarter. And at the end of one, the Jackson Christian Lady Eagles 16 and the USJ Lady Bruins 6. Let's take a one-minute timeout. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We are back here. Brian Bullard, Coach Joe Holloway. Uh, pardon my half a voice. Brian, an exciting first quarter. Give us your summary. Yeah, 16-6, to six, Coach. Uh, obviously shooting it well from three. But the, the key to that quarter is turning them over um, when they have the ball, and, and we have to keep doing that. They're going to figure out this zone. It looks like Coach Schutz has tweaked it just a little bit, um, maybe throwing some different wrinkles at them that they haven't seen. Absolutely. Tony is a great coach. I've had to coach against him. Coached with him just a little bit. Worked some camps. I think our defense, the wing drop is the only thing like that. And I saw it coming. 
That two is by Rose. They get it down the floor. A lot of physical play in there. Yeah, you can't do that. No, Barham was just flat taking the forearm and yeah. pushing Carly out. Watch for the little things, fans. That one knocked away. We'll get it out of bounds. They're going to start trapping that ball screen. We're going to have to adjust yep. on that, especially if Ayers is the one getting uh, – if her, if her player is screening, she's going to trap it. I don't know that that's the look we want. No, we, her arms are long, and she's got a real wingspan that can cause trouble getting the ball out of that trap. Back up dribble by Boykin, feet into the post to hold. She wants to spin, goes up just a little hard. And USJ with the rebound, Teague bringing the ball down, and we're going to trap her. They go to the corner, driving the baseline, and it's going to stay down with spelling. Really tough finish, and she finished it with her left hand. Yeah. They knock it away on the press. A Euro step by Ayers, and USJ – Gets two more, and Tony Schutz is going to take a good timeout. We'll take a timeout, too, and be back in 30 seconds. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. And uh, basketball is a game of ebbs and flows. And boy, did things change there in about, what, a 45-second period, Brian? Yes, sir, 6-0 run there uh, by the Lady Bruins. And, you know, turning us over. Um, and, you know, we have to handle that pressure. Um, and, and stay calm and be able to manipulate the ball down the floor and get shots. We're getting what we want on offense, um, so we, we have to make sure. And, and I think that's why uh, Coach Ayers is pressing a little bit more, trying to take us out of that. Absolutely. And it'll be inbounded on the baseline by the good guys, Jackson Christian. Nice cut across. It's a foul. Yeah. That's a foul. Yeah. Boy, it's rough, though. It's taking a while to get some of those fouls called. I've got spellings with two. Yep, I believe that's her second. Our backs are to the officials, and USJ does not use the foul board on their scoreboard. Like yeah, I'm not do. sure why. They haven't used it in a couple of years that I've been here, and I'm not sure why. Nice shot up from the left wing. The reason I said it's a nice shot, it went down. Shooting it with confidence. I, I love it to see our girls shooting it that way. Well, they walked in. Nice wow. block. Wow. Yeah, fortunate there we didn't give up a layup. They're bringing driver back with two fouls. Get their experience back on the floor. Yep, you're right. They'll run one in the corner, and they have a stack, and they try to – that's an illegal screen by five. They'll probably get us for holding, but I don't agree. I teach that, or when I was coaching, I taught that, but the way it was executed, it was illegal. Talk to these screens. Keep the ball off the blocks, make them throw it outside. We did. Three-pointer up off the back of the iron. They tried to bump us in, but I'll tell you what now, Taylor Baines held her ground. That's one of those you throw it and you say, oh, me, I wish I hadn't thrown that one. Yeah, I like the idea. We did have numbers down here, but, you know, like I said, you, you don't want to force things. I don't mind that. Yeah, we're matched up good, and Tony likes that matchup defense. Barham, that was good defense. Unfortunately, the rebound came over Yarber's head just by fingertip. That one Barham had all the way. We would have fouled her if we'd done anything right. Yeah, I'd like to see a slide over there, maybe take a charge. Yep. Got to be quicker to do that, though. We were slow moving. The 
Again, the three off the back of the iron. Jump ball, possession arrow should be ours, I thought. Okay. That's, that's one of those, Coach, we had no business getting, but Elena just going all out for that ball got us another possession. The effort is there. There's a lot of tagging going on. Garber wanted to go. She gives it off. We bring it out front and reset it. And I don't mind the patience we've got right now. No, we're, we're getting good shots. No need to rush. 19-14, your score. There's a nice screen. They got around our post up then. We fouled Ayers. That's on Tess. She'll go to the line. Ayers has seven in the contest. Rattles out. Carly Holt back in. Looks like Barnes is back in. Mind you, Kyle Teichman coming up at halftime. Shot it, got it. I believe Kyle's team is ranked number one by the Jackson Christian in the area. Yep, that's right. Our girl six, USJ 10. USJ likes to try to double off of the throw-in girl. They'll take her defender and come up from behind you if they can. Spinning is Holt, and she got stripped, but I'd say they barred it down for you old-timers. That looked like Judy Pearson down at Raymer, who had almost unstoppable scoop shot like that. On the floor, I thought. Wow, she was going thought up. she was going up, but he saw it a little bit different. They don't understand the dynamics of that scoop shot. Nice move. It dances, it falls. Excellent step through. She split two defenders there. Good patience by Taylor. Veteran play. Absolutely. Down in the corner. That's it. Take the post away. Now, USJ did something good. When we took the post away and wouldn't let them drive baseline, they had a girl step short corner. Uh, they could have reached around, but I'm glad they decided to go outside with it. Two airs in the back court. And I'm going to tell you what now, Riley Bradford isn't afraid at all to go after no. him. Here, don't care if it goes out of bounds. Lily Barnes, you hustled. Yep. When we force their offense outside, it, it, we're doing the, it makes it a lot tougher on them. we got to keep them forced out of that paint. Back to driver. Driver back to Ayers. Ayers wants the three up. Rolls off. And they're going to call it on Carly Holt. Go back, watch the replay. You be the judge. No, I mean, they're, they're hand fighting like crazy. Yep. Boy, we got some great people watching us like Shane Sisko, Scott Gatlin, and Larry Forsythe. Hey, our old friend Dylan Young's watching. In the corner. They really didn't want the three. They were looking for Barham. They say oh, we touched on. it last. Wow. Usually the sign is how hard they go after it, and, and Barnum went after that ball pretty hard there. She did. She knows she touched it. Yep. Brian gave you a good tip to watch. They're going to screen in for her over here. we got to get to the corner. They want to get her lined up. She didn't catch it where she could face up like she likes on the three. This young lady's going to be very good. She's one of the top-rated freshmen in America. Halen Ayers. 
But we got a bunch of young scrappers there to just hustling out there. Can't leave her. No, but it hit the back of the iron. Now go, we got the numbers. Nice shot up, will it fall? No, just a little bit inside. We hustle for the rebound. And I think Gibson wisely holds it up. Six point lead with 2.36 to go here in the second quarter. Gibson Boykin shot a little short. That, yeah. Good call. It's a great call. And, and where he saw it from, he had the angle we did. You could see it. she didn't shove, but she was able to, to knock her off her spot there. Yeah, yeah. But really good call by Bo Bates. On the floor, we go 1 4, sliding up is Barnes. Dalton, who can hit that one? We try to feed it in. And uh, Teague did a great job cutting in front of her. You almost, when you run across like that, Brian, need to run your cut a step higher once you pass the uh, red lane line. It's easy to see up here, yep. harder to do down there. Nice fake, the drive, the kick out. Boykin wants to go. Now, if you want to watch post play, when Carly gets in the low post, watch where she holds her hand. That's where she wants the basketball. I think they had a house built around it. Yeah, we didn't need to force that in there. That's Riley Bradford with the foul. Ayers will go to the line and shoot two. She's three for four there tonight. That's two she's missed, and uh, that's not her normal percentage from the free throw line. And here comes a hustler coming into the game. Jenna Tinsley. Second one, shot it, got it. Important stretch right here. Two minutes left. Want to extend the lead or, or be able to hold it going into half. Watch 15 tagging. You can control a player at the hip like that. Good kick out. Repost, it's off. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it got Jenna's I leg. Think it got Jenna's leg. I know it had some of 12's leg. Well, we got two fifths of an offensive line watching us tonight Jolton Smith and Cameron Mainers. That's backcourt. She did not establish position in the front court. Yeah, she's got to have her feet across. That even happens in the pros, you see, guys, in the air. They ran over the top of the screens to beat the cutting. Spacing's not good, and they can slide down too easy, Brian. No, and, and don't stare it down and then try to force it in. we got to be patient. We can get the ball inside. Just be patient. Yeah, I know Tony well enough. He'll talk about spacing at half. Pretty good defense. Yeah. Two fouls on Riley Bradford. At the line is King. She misses her first. Sophie King. Second one shot it, got it. And it's a four point contest. They use the run and jump man to man defense, is what they're using. In their jump was not quick enough, neither was their rotation. We'll take the last one if they'll give it to us. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We're ahead.
Three up, off the back of the iron, Carly Holt. She's working like a yeoman today. Three up, off the back of the iron, Carly got it. Wow. Carly Holt out there working, coach. Two offensive boards, a big putback. That's yep. again. Oh. Hand up. Ayers wants that NBA yeah. three. It's short. And at the end of one half of play, Jackson Christian leads 23 to 17. After a minute timeout, we will have Coach Kyle Teichman here. <laughs> Is old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. And we're back here at USJ. Lady Eagles lead 23-17, 16-6 after the first quarter. Um, Lady Bruins make a run. Coach Teichman joining me here at halftime, able to extend it back out to six before half. We were talking about Coach Schutz just needing a little breather before um, he headed into the locker room. Coach Teichman, thanks for being with us. Give us your thoughts there on the first half. Yeah, I mean, the, the energy that they're playing with is, uh, I mean, you feel it watching it, and it comes from the fans, the environment. But, um, you know, the one thing you can't say is that none of those girls out there, they, they all care. I mean, they're playing with such – passion and energy and that's what's driving all that stuff but a lot of good performances from all of our girls yeah i think we forced i don't have it officially but like seven turnovers there uh, in the first quarter so that uncharacteristic we'll see what adjustments are made coach teichman let, let's talk about your guys um give us a little it's been a while since we talked since, a little while since we've uh been together just give us a, a rundown of of Christmas and, and what that looks like uh, for your look like for your guys. Yeah, so we um, we went out of town before Christmas to uh, Middle Tennessee to Columbia and played in the classic there. Uh, went two and one, beat uh, Summertown, who's a very very highly ranked double A team. Uh, lost to the host Mount Pleasant and then responded well, beating Cornersville. Um, and then after Christmas, stayed around here and played in Milan's tournament. Uh, finished third over there. We beat uh, 4A Kenwood in the first round. Played really well. Uh, lost to Briarcrest, uh, who won the, the tournament, and then rebounded again and beat South Gibson in that third-place game. And, and I was able – I didn't see you much, but was able to catch that Summertown ending there um, in Mount Pleasant. Really um, excited to see all the pieces um, to the puzzle being there for you. Talk about what it's been like to get everybody back, healthy, eligible, all those things that – um, we, we talked about before the break. Now we got it, and, and what do we look like? Yeah, I mean, if, if you're tuning in and you haven't watched this play since November, um, you know, it's, it's a different team. We've added uh, several pieces, whether that's guys getting eligible um, or guys getting healthy. So we're, we're at as, as full of strength as we're going to be this year. Uh, got nine guys I'm comfortable throwing out there every night. We've added some, some needed size and depth, which has helped us a ton. Um, and I think after six games, having it all together, we're starting to finally gel and understand our roles and that kind of thing. So tonight, um, you know, rivalry game, cross town, uh, they're, they're playing well. You guys are playing well. Um, what do you expect from our guys? What do you expect from them? Uh, give us a little, a little preview of tonight. You know, they're, they're going to play really hard, and they do every night, but especially tonight for a, a rivalry game, a district game, district opener that, that means something to the top teams around. So, uh, they're, they're locked in. They're really focused. I know they're going to give me all they've got, um, and, and the rest will take care of itself. You know, we can't control whether or not 
the ball goes in, but we can control our effort. And I believe our, our guys, one through 14 that are dressing, are going to be really, really invested in the outcome of the game. These, these are the nights that, you know, you, you played at Brentwood. I played at Sycamore. The, the Friday nights in the region, man, is what it was all about. I'm excited to be up here. Excited to see your team. I, I know you're excited for this opportunity. And thank you for joining us. And, and let's hope Coach Schutz can – uh, get a little energy coming back out, out of the half, and our girls can hold on this lead. Yeah, it's going to be a great second half. Kyle Teichman joining us here uh, at halftime. Lady Eagles up 23-17. We're going to take a two-minute timeout, and then we'll be back with some thoughts um, and, and some stats from our first half. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack, from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and Go Eagles! Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And we are back. Six point lead Jackson Christian Lady Eagles. They are fired up. They played a probably as good a half as they played in several years against USJ. Yeah, and you know, typically, um, I don't, I haven't seen USJ's girls play a bunch this year, but I, they're getting sped up. They're, we're doing some things that that is a little bit unorthodox, and um, I would like to talk to Coach Shoots at some point just to see if he did anything different, or if he's just rotating to Halen or, or whatever he's trying to do uh, with his zone. It looks a little bit different tonight, uh, but let's let's hope that. Sometimes as a coach, you, you know, halftime you don't want. You want to keep playing. You're, you have the momentum. Probably a good break for Coach Ayers and USJ to be able to go into the locker room and talk about it. Um, so we'll see what kind of adjustments are made. Um, it should be an exciting second half. Oh, it should be. We've got about a minute 50 left on the clock. Jackson Christian already out. Uh, Coach Ayers is milking it for every second he can of correction and instruction. Tell you what, let's do. Let's take a one-minute timeout and come back in one minute. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory.
Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we are back. Brian Bullard, Coach Joe Holloway. And, Brian, it'll belong to USJ to start the second half. Yeah, the important important stretch. I always talk about this. You know, first first two, three minutes of, of the second half, we'll see what adjustments were made, and we'll, we'll see how uh, the Lady Bruins attack our zone. And they give to Tig first, Lily Tig, who's a fine soccer player just like some of our young ladies. We, we have some combo people play softball, volleyball, soccer. Coach Hughes going with Carly to start the half. Her and energy. And she knocked it away. She plays good defense, but a nice scoop pass to Ayers gets them back to within four. Here's the drive. Nice high arcing layup good for Baines. Her fourth point. Got to remind those wing players, they must drop. And that one was too easy, Brian. Yeah, trading baskets right now. Got to make sure we cover down. They're going to come trap Gibson. Tess always gives it a long, lean look. We tried to lob, but they built a house around Carly. They get it to Ayers. Ayers tries to slow up and make you run into her back. Long pass. Nobody covering the post. We get a break and the hole's there to rebound. Okay, got to be something, ref. Yeah, a lot of contact. Tess Little quickly in the forecourt. Wants to go. Riley Bradford back out front with it. Here's Tess, might have gotten away with a little clear out. In the corner, thought Riley might crank it. Taylor wants to go to the hole. To the hole, she's fouled, she'll shoot two. Great drive, I thought the, her momentum was gonna keep that ball there on the rim. Just rimmed out on her. And I've got that as Spelling's third foul, but I don't believe the Ayers, that's a husband and wife team, coaching them, Joel Ayers, and of course, Ashley, who was the great Ashley McElhenney up at Gleason and at Vanderbilt. Shot it, got it. That was smooth as silk there, Brian. Yeah, Barham coming back in. Coach Ayers not wasting a whole lot of time keeping her on the bench. Second rolls off the rim. Tig's got the rebound. She's looking for people to fill the lanes, and they didn't that time. To Ayers. Here's the shot up. By King, no good. Rebound. It's going to be a foot race. A little, yep. little stop and go move by Taylor Baines. And that's a senior drawing a foul right there. It's a veteran move. The hesitation and then drew the contact. Des Little directing traffic as the throw in person. Bradford's three up off the back of the iron. Ayers with the rebound. She's looking at dribbles with that head up. Good form. Skip pass across, shot no good. Rebound, fought for, tipped around. Holt comes out of there with it. That was driver with the three. That's a lot, man. Golly. I'm glad uh, you, uh, I'm, I wasn't gonna comment. Getting a little physical. Yarber about to come back in the ball game. That's that's Gibson. That's her second foul. And to me, that was a knick-knack foul compared to some of the other stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of contact both ways. And Ayers, 
Ayers wants the three. Ayers has got the three. Five in this quarter already, and it's a two-point game. Oh, me. I won't make comment. I have officiated. And believe it or not, that would have gotten the tee hand. A little bit of a worry is tired legs for how hard we had to play. Yep. So let's hope that we could, we're able to keep this pace up. And we're leaving the ball a little short on some of the shots. 4.46 to go. Jackson Christian basketball tests a little to inbound. Out deep to Riley Bradford. Riley's guarded by Ayers. She cuts through. Oh, my. Maybe you saw it. I didn't no. see it, Brian. Two young ladies said they wanted to stand up. No, I saw I saw Taylor get bumped on that screen, and, and they got us for an illegal. But he may wow. have been blocked. The angle. He may have had a different angle. Good job by Yarborough knocking it away. Yeah, fortunate there because I think she might have a layup if she catches that one. Help wasn't there on the backside. We'll see what their number one play comes out of a box. Two people on the box, two at the elbow. They screen up, screen across. They missed an open barm in there. We didn't body check the cutter. It's a tie ball game. Steel. There's his foul, and it goes in, so they'll have an and one situation. So the game pressure now is on, on the Lady Eagles, and so we have to take this moment, calm down, uh, stay together, and, and not let this get to an extended lead. You're going to stay with their first lead of the ball game. And it falls in. It's a good timeout. And a good timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout and come back with more Jackson Christian basketball. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. We are back, and Brian, we need a good offensive set this time. Yeah, and, and we can't let a, a their, their bucket turn us into a, get us sped up and, and turn the ball over. We have to keep our composure right here. we got to step up and meet those passes a little bit, and Barham showing her worth coming off the bench. And that's Lily Teague, and that's her first points, and now it's, it's a six-point lead. And we can't force our way up the sideline. Yeah, we got to go back. we got to return the ball back. All coaching clinics and stuff say – Side, middle side on breaking presses. It's more of a man-to-man -man press that they will run and jump or run and trap. We need to clear out with a receiver looking whoever they run and jump off of. We got a break, but they got the tip of the ball. Dropping, that was good, and in there is number 24 for us. That is Blakely Melton. Out to Tig, deep right side. Over to King. Gives to Ayers, and here comes Ayers. That's too easy. Get a body between those. Straight line drives. We got to be able to slide over there. 
She's got 19 in the contest. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Yep. King's got two in a row for her. Six on the night. And USJ's biggest lead. I think Coach Schutz wants to talk it over. While he does, let's take a 30-second timeout. Full timeout. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. And we are back. And I think we've got a shot of the crowd that they're showing. Ryan, the biggest thing is, and Tony needed this time out, he did a good job calling it, is our kids have got to, you know, they, they're kind of saying in the back of their minds, where did it go? We just got to get it back. Yeah, it's a tell of two halves. Uh, they're, they're handling the ball, making shots, and, and we're not. And so, you know, you see the flip in the scoreboard, and hopefully we're able to, to make a run and get back in this thing. Now they need to go back middle right now. Some of them's got to clear out because you've got too much of a traffic jam. Everything was good, but you got to notice that Gibson's cutting away. And this is normal. Check the body language and the things like this. Barham will go to the line. She's one for two from the line tonight. Make it one for three. Gets the second one. She's got six points on the night. And we did a real, really good job. There we go, the lead pass. And Gibson has not scored since the first quarter. That's yep. an item, Brian. Turnover goes the way of USJ. Actually, we had a good thing going. We yeah, did. pretty good offense going and, yep. and just a little miscommunication there. 38-26, 12-point lead. Brian and I both have coached basketball, and we've been through these quarters where we only score three points in the quarter. And this one is that so far. King shot off the back of the iron, rebound. Thought it hit the rope. The rope's shaking. Yeah. Riley Bradford back in the game. Yarbrough out. Keep the ball off the blocks and out of the lane. Now that's a well-constructed play. You gotta watch her cutting. 22 points for Ayers. Good shot, boy, Riley wore that one out. Needed that one. Yep, nine points on the night, three threes. Riley's got a tough matchup. Good block. No, it hit off her. There we go. Good call by the official. And you also as well, Brian. Brian saw it all the way. She did a good job knocking it off of her, but then yeah. it hit her when she was out of bounds. When you knock it off somebody and you're flying over out of bounds, you got to remember where you are. 
USJ wants a 30-second timeout as they stole the ball, and it looked like it's fixed to be a jump ball. So let's take a 30-second timeout with them. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Just as we start to make a move towards getting back closer in this game, Brian, something crazy happens. Yeah, and, you know, big three there by Riley. Um, and a big possession right here. Let's get a stop and, and hopefully go down and get a bucket. Going to take a really good defensive set right now. 53 seconds left in the quarter. Oh, King had it. They'll get it back to Ayers on the left wing, back to King on the right side of the floor. Driver brings it back out to Teague. Trying to draw us yep. up, yep. I thought maybe they should have sold some real estate to the USJ Post player. Mm. You stay that long, you get to pay real estate taxes. They're holding for the last shot. Right on the edge of the distance. Yeah, it, it, it didn't look like it to me, but he's sitting right there, and had, she was close enough for the count. Well, he's got the best shot of any of us. Right. Eight seconds for Jackson Christian to get one up. Gibson Boykin, who has eight in the game with the ball, going to the hole, lays it up, and it just comes off the rim. 41-29, USJ leads our Lady Eagles. Let's take a one-minute timeout. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. We are back. We were outscored by 18 in that quarter, Brian. Yeah, it's a tough quarter, um, but, you know, you're still within striking distance. Come out and have good possessions. Absolutely. Good way to start with a bucket here in the – fourth quarter. Good move. Carly Holt. She's got six. It's a great start. Now we've got to get some stops. Switching up his look right here. Driver to inbound. They've got a stack. They'll try to get it to Ayers, and they do in the backcourt. Baseline shot, no good. Rebound, fall for Ayers, had it. And she's getting several and ones tonight. Yeah, you got Barham and Ayers there to get the offensive rebound. You have to do some really tough work to get them out of there. Just a good play. And Ayers has a reach on anybody on the floor. Free throw good. 13 point lead here in the fourth quarter. That's a good press break there.
They called a jump ball. I, I get awful quiet sometimes when I see something like could have sworn I saw a wrist grabbed. Two girls fighting after it there. Tiggs three up off the back of the iron. Rebound last touch by Spellings. Taylor Baines inbound the basketball. Good job by Boykin to get the ball up the floor, bro. Three-point shot up and good. Tess limping a little bit. Is she hurt? Yeah, she is, but she's going to battle through it. She is a trooper. Yeah. She'll play through it. And that right ankle is – Come on, referee, you saw her. Give yeah, her. Stop. Uh, oh, yeah, stop the play. That was Barm with the basket. And another and one. Cramping. It's a cramp. That's the good news. Now, the official's a little negligent. This is not a timeout. And the Bruins cannot go to the side over there and get coached. Barham at the line for one to complete an old-fashioned three-point play. Her shot off. Rebound comes to Taylor Baines. To Boykin in the forecourt. Boykin picks a dribble up. Here is Riley going to the hole. Riley drew that foul because she gave a little extra oomp in there. Yeah, and, and Driver didn't quite have the uh, angle there to yeah. take the charge. Good call by the official. Yep. I like to see when Riley catches here on the press to get to the middle. Yep. Because if we get to the middle, we have options out of it. If we get to that corner, we're going to get trapped. Take your time. Riley misses that one. She'll get a second one. Yarber checking back in for Holt. Second one off the iron. Ayers over Barnes for the rebound. Here's the shot up. That spelling's no good. And Coach Ayers said, we got to call a timeout because we look out of sync. USJ has a 12-point lead over the Lady Eagles. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. We are back. Five minutes, 59 seconds left of exciting girls basketball. 12-point lead. We, we've done a better job handling the press. Just hadn't been able to cut into the lead like we need to. Still plenty of time. They come a little tighter. We go one forward to break the press. Back to Barnes. Idea good pass. Didn't get there, but a nice recovery pass. Yarber spins, and it rolls in. Good awareness there by, by Taylor, I believe, to find Elena underneath. That's a good finish. Elena, Not an easy play. Elena's fourth point of the game. Travel. Travel. A little momentum here, Coach. We, we got to build on this. Well, this is, we, we need this one to cut it to eight. Eight is a very doable number. 
And you're right about something you said. Brian has good points off the air, too. Keep Riley keeping the ball in the middle of the floor on the press break and in our offense. Barham picked that one up. Yep, Barham with the foul. A fourth on her would be very, very beneficial for us, Coach. If it would be. Pick it up. Great. We go 1-4 across the baseline. Sliding Taylor Baines up. She pivots. And we got to watch her spacing again, Brian. I know Tony will remind him of that. And he just did. I read his lips. <laughs> We got to we got to play. There we go. They're content yeah. to let us do this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good shot, Riley Bradford. Her four three. She's got twelve. Driver shot off the back of the iron, knocked away from us. Knocked away from. Let's see what they call. They gave it to us. He didn't have it, so he let he let the other official take the call. I think he saw it better, don't yeah. you? And sometimes as an official, you don't always say, there oh, it that's got to There's a the four. An aggressive player like Barham, Coach, that's big because that takes a little bit of that aggr aggressiveness away. Coach Ayer is going to get her out, yeah. Via the freshman into the ball game. Shot up, going to come off the back of the iron. They get the rebound, they'll give it to Ayers. Crossover move. We slipped, it wasn't. It's just normal crossover. Everybody got to ooh and ah a little bit. That time we bunched up well in the lane. And they're doing a good job taking the air out of the ball a little bit. Yep. Got to gamble. Almost, but it gets to Teague, who's a good shooter. Her shot comes off, though. That's okay, though. Yeah, we'll take it. Boy, they over Riley very quickly this time. Yep. Got to get Gibson Boykin involved again. That's though. right. Got to have a little bit of pace about us. You watch us try to move the ball around. Elena's got to be careful with that screen. Good restart, but we've got to move our offense a hair quicker now. Time runs down. All the way, Gibson Boykin on the floor. Interesting. Uh, yeah, interesting. Bradford just a little short and it comes off the backside to Ayers. Now we have to turn the pressure up just a little bit more. Seven point lead for the Lady Bruins. Yeah, we gotta have we gotta have a couple fouls to give. We're gonna have to take them. Yep. Riley takes care of one of them. Now we've got to play hard cornbread and onion breath defense.
And if some of you are wondering, I got a phone or a text on my regular phone why I'm not reading out some of the people watching. Uh, my phone froze up at a certain point on that. I, the game is still on there, but unfortunately, and we let it get into airs too easy. Yep. Second foul. We almost could take two people and put on airs, take the one off the ball and make somebody else catch it. Yeah, you, you want to get out of her hands, figure out who you want to foul other than her. You know she's going to get it if all possible. We've got two timeouts. They have three. And that should send them to the line. Air's there for a very important free throw, and it rattles off. Big miss. Seven-point lead. Big thing now, Coach, we're not going to get a perfect shot, but we got to get some no. shots up. Get it down in a hurry. Yep. Second one, it's good. It's an eight-point lead. And now let's get the ball back towards the center. Clear out. Long pass was intercepted. Riley did what she could to stop the clock. And it'll be another two-shot foul situation. I saw what Gibson was doing, but you got a lot of length there. You got to you got to yep. put that pass over the top, and it's hard to judge that length. Yep. And I believe that was Riley's fifth foul. Referee patting his hands, trying to. Uh, I got news for you, Mr. Referee Tony's got 30 seconds to have somebody up there. Ayers back in the line. She's two for three now, three for five in this quarter. Right, she's got 28 on the night, and we get another pass stolen. Idea was good, execution not yep. so good. Yeah, foul somebody else besides her. Yep. Going to the line will be Lily Tig, who's a pretty good shooter. And she drains that one. She also has two threes in this contest. But you're right, you gotta foul somebody else. And she drains both of those. They built it back to a 12 point lead. Must score very quickly now. And a good pass and a timeout call. Holt with her eighth point. Let's take a 30 second timeout. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Back for the final minute, 11 of a game that could be called a tale of two halves. Yeah, you know, we made our run. They fought back. We pulled away just uh, again. You know, second half, it, it, they've they've made their run, and you knew they would. Um, and, Coach, what I, I'm proud of our girls. We got it back to seven um, after it looked like they, you know, might extend it out. Um, but, you know, got it back to seven. Still a ten-point game. Anything can happen. Got to keep playing hard, giving yourself a chance. Absolutely, Brian. And these girls have nothing to be ashamed of. And they're going to fight to the end. 
Ten point game. USA breaks the press. Oh. And they'll send driver to the line, it looks like. Tess got her around the, the neck. You know, she didn't mean to. It just kind of looked, looked a little rough from up here. It did look a little rough. Just trying to get the foul call. And driver has not scored in this contest. This is the first one. Gets the second. A little more sense of urgency got to happen now. Yep. Take it to the hole. There she goes, Taylor Baines. Would have been nice to have got the end one, but we're going to get two free throws. Taylor's got five on the night, one for two from the free throw line. Carly Holt goes out. She's given a good effort tonight, Brian. She has. And that's five fouls. Coach Ayers didn't realize it, I don't think. Driver's fifth foul. Yep. It was her fifth. I thought so, but with some of the crazy things happening. Bain's first shot up and off the iron. Second one bounces out and Ayers gets the rebound. Good, we made her give it up. Got a foul quickly though, Brian. Right there, yep. Barham at the line is only two for five tonight. But she has hurt us with post play, though. Yeah, and, and you know, she's their senior. Big time presence in the middle. And she, she just brings a different kind of tenacity, different attitude to their team. Second one off the iron. We got to push the ball now. Shot just drifting off just a little bit. Look at the girls hustle though. Still playing hard. I don't think you foul now. Play it out, there you go. No, it's, you can't have enough possessions in the time allowed. 16 seconds as you see on our great clock of Worthy Road Studios. You'll know the truth. I think Taylor was just trying to cushion herself against the collision. Mm -hmm. Bar him back at the free throw line. Side went up, no good. Seven seconds, we'll get one last shot out of it. One of the three points you're gonna have to throw. Riley throws one up. It's no good, and the final score, USJ has won 53 to 41. We will be back here at halftime with some stats. Let's take a two minute timeout, a two minute timeout. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, Make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. 
Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Is old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Is old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. Hey, we are back here. At USJ, just finished the girls' game. Final, USJ Lady Bruins 53, Lady Eagles 41. Joined by uh, Mr. Blake Beckham here, and vice president, and our development guy at Jackson Christian School, running down some scores. Uh, Riley Bradford with 12, Taylor Baines with 5, Carly Holt with 8, Yarbrough with 4, Gibson with 8, and Tess Little with 4. And... Blake, you can kind of count on, uh, comment on this. It, it was a tell of two halves for um, our our Lady Eagles. We come out, we're turning them over. I think they had like seven there in the first quarter. Uh, and then, you know, Coach Ayers gets halftime, and I think you probably needed it and made some good adjustments there, come out and pressure us, uh, really turn up the intensity there. What would you see there from in the second half? So I think they – I think the biggest thing, they changed their press on us and um, – we, we we couldn't we couldn't get past the the volleyball line much less half court and I think if I'm right I think they may have gone on a 20-0 run before we broke it on a three by Bradford in the corner um, of course they turned up the, they turned up the intensity and I don't know that we quite matched it and once the once the ball got rolling with them uh, like momentum does they couldn't miss a shot Halen made some great plays I think the Teague girl hit a couple of threes and um, Got out of hand. Of course, then we have a shot in the fourth quarter, uh, a three that would have cut it to four and had a lot of momentum. And I don't I don't mind how patient we were in the second half. We were getting the shots that we that we wanted. Um, I wish maybe a little bit more urgency at times. Um, but they're a good team. They've got one of the best players in the country. And I thought our girls played really well. Yeah, I think we got down 15. Yeah. Uh, and then got it back to, to – got it to 10 and got it back to seven. Yeah. And if that shot from Riley goes in, who knows. But – uh, like you said, you know, hats off to Coach Ayers, really well-coached team and really young. Yeah. I think uh, Ava Barm, the one senior. Uh, and she was the difference maker, too, for them. Like, she didn't play much in the first half, but um, her physicality in the post um, and just the intensity that she brings overall, uh, she's a difference maker for them big time. Absolutely. You know, our, our girls fall. Let's move to this boys' game as uh, both teams warm up. You know, we talked to Kyle at halftime of the girls. You know, full strength, got everybody going, ready to go. USJ comes in, a lot of momentum, beating some really good teams over Christmas break. Um, you know, packed house. What do you expect from this game tonight? So I was down there with Coach McLean uh, just a few minutes ago, and he, he asked how many games since I've been at Jackson Christian have had this type of environment and atmosphere, and there's not been a lot. Um, and it will spill over from the girls' game because it was a hard-played, intense game, a lot of emotion. Um, the times that I've seen USJ the last couple of years with their new coach, they're going to play super hard. They're going to be fundamental. Um, they're not going to go super fast, but it's going to be an intense game. Uh, the students will be will be into it. Um, the thing I like about our team is 
you have you have guys like Aiden and Ridgely who are seniors and have been through things like this before. Hopefully, will stay under control and um, play to the best of their ability. They're um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, in, in a big time environment, Friday night in the region. Uh, this is where you want to be. Something interesting I saw uh, a little development there in the, in the first half. We our student section was over here, and then it, it was just like everybody was just shifting. I thought I thought that was interesting. Is, is that something that um, the USA does that? Do they want the visiting student section on that side? Well, for uh, it's it's not it's not too different than what we do at our school. You know. Um, if we have students lined up behind our bench, we're going to move them back to the visitors' bench. And uh, I think uh, Coach Pritchard and Coach Palmer talked and thought it was probably probably best for us to have a little separation from behind their bench. And, That's right. Um, of course, our, our students were fine with it, and um, they're going to keep being loud regardless of where they are in the in the stands. So, 30 seconds before we go to a break here, uh, give us a give us a final thought, and, and the people listening, give us a thought about Jackson Christian. Uh, Jackson Christian is a, it's a special place, special people. Um, it's neat to see some of these kids that have been here for almost their whole life, and now you see them in, in big ways. I was talking with the family before the game tonight at a restaurant. They've been a part of Jackson Christian for 11 years, um, and this is, their, this is their seniors, their sons, last season. And uh, just to be able to have those conversations with people and the, and the thankfulness and gratitude that they have for Jackson Christian, um, I'm thankful to be a part of it, and, and it's it's a huge blessing. I'm looking forward to um, great things ahead. Absolutely. Joined by Blake Beckham, Vice President, Community Relations and, and Advancement here at Jackson Christian School. Thank you for joining us between games. We're going to take a two-minute timeout, and we'll come back and get ready for the starting lineups. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. And we are back with about two minutes to go. Brian, some thoughts about this game. I know you talked to Coach Teichman earlier. Yeah, they, you know, from from our past uh, meetings, that they want to, you know, they have, they'll have a good game plan. They want to play a little bit slower, uh, force us into the half court, and force us to take outside shots. Um, you know, we like to get out. We got guys that can get out and push the basketball. So we'll, we'll see contrasting styles here. Both teams are going to play really hard um, and get after it, and that's, that's what you expect in a game like this. Um, and so I, I think it will come down once again to uh, who handles the basketball, who doesn't turn it over, and who can knock down some shots and, and with the adrenaline flowing in a rivalry game. You're right about that. We'll see some 2-3 zones, some trapping zones, some man-to-man. -man. Uh, their last game, I believe, was against Ripley, and Ripley – 
found a solution to their zone for a while and was hitting pretty good. So they came out man to man. They did lose that game. And these are two of the better boys teams going to play here in West Tennessee. Of course, our traditional defense is man to man. We can play a little zone, but like I said, you'll probably see us in man tonight. And you're, the tempo, we need to control that tempo tonight. Yeah, and, and we want to push it. and We want to get out and run. Um, and it's going to come down to, to we're able to handle the ball and do that. Absolutely. And uh, we are just about ready for basketball. And I, I will say this, I appreciate my wife doing some typing and stuff today for me. And uh, we do have one number change. I'll let you hit introduction time. Number one, senior, senior Aiden Shaw. Number two, DJ Jenkins. Number three, sophomore Cove Vargason. Number 10, freshman Kelsey Rose. And your final starter, he's a senior, number 23, Ridgely Reagan. And Ridgely, since he got healthy, he's been doing some outstanding rebounding and scoring more than he did last year. And the starting lineups for the Bruins. Number zero, he's a junior, Mills Terry. Number one, junior Wallace Driver. Number three, a freshman, Sam Kill. Number four, senior, Brady Smith. And the final starter is number 10, senior Hayes Carney. Bruins coached by Jeff Jones. Their coach, Jeff Jones, has some college experience coaching, did a good job with them last year. Our coach, Kyle Teichman, is an all-time great at Freed Hardeman, and you should have seen the young man play post. Very good. And I understand pretty dead gum good teacher, too. Yeah, he is. Great math teacher. And uh, that math over my head sometimes. <laughs> Be my first chance to see our boys is we had a game that we were wanted to do, and Chester County wouldn't let us uh, broadcast down there. I guess they're National Federation now. And uh, we had great tournament action. I know Coach took his team, Coach Teichman, play against some very tough teams. Tip won by USJ that time. They'll attack first. Aiden drawing Brady Smith. That's a matchup yeah. to watch, Coach. That's a good one. Brady Smith gone over 1,000 points this year. Shot missed. Rebound by Jenkins. Starting off in man. And... I was, would have been surprised. That's real. I mentioned the 2-3 because they played. Look at there. We took it to the hole. Just rolled off the rim. That's one of those that didn't want to stay down. Shot up. No good. Rebound. Yes, Jay wins the battle on that one. No good. And pulled down again by our man. And that is the Windex man himself, number 10. Kelsey Rose. Yeah, Kelsey. Here's Aiden Shaw. Third round jumper falling away. Rebound, Mills Terry, who does a good job for them too. Out on the point is Wallace Driver. He gives it off. Originally, that's good, gonna be a good battle between Terry and Ridgely. Yeah, that's two, two good players. On at it, physical players. Yeah. 
Shot up, in and out, rebound. Shaw out quicks him to the rebound, and he looks it over. And says, gentlemen, let's set it up and gives it to Cole Vargason. No score so far in this contest. Cole drives, pulls up. And we're going to get a jump ball out of it. I think Jenkins was a little surprised they called a jump ball, but it was. Yep. We slide up. Jenkins on the 1-4, give it to him. Missed originally come in, but it bounced the right way. Rose, well, I thought he was going to get away with it for a minute. Yeah, a little stutter step there. Both teams employing man-to-man -man right now. They'll get Rose, it looks like, on that one and on a reach in. I think he got Aiden. Did they get Aiden? Yeah. That's that's a terrible call then. Falling away was driver. And it looks like they are going to get on Brady us? Smith. Or did they get us? No, they got Ridgely, but he's boxing out. And their oh, guy he's... hooked him. What in the world? Mercy. Wow, that's all I can say. This is K.O. the freshman. His first shot up and off. As an eighth grader, I believe he played over at Sacred Heart. As a matter of fact, his brothers played baseball, football, and basketball at Sacred Heart. Miss both of them. We get the rebound. They're in a 1-1-3, three, three-quarter court defense. Vargason's three up, drifts to the left, goes out of bounds. Yeah, he didn't catch it clean. Probably should have just chinned it and looked for a – Let's for some help there. He didn't catch a clean on the pass. Hard to shoot it like that. It is. Cole catches it clean, gets those legs into it. He can drop a three anytime. And the shot off and skying through there is Berman Jenkins to get the rebound. A lot of adrenaline right now. Nobody able to put it in the basket. No score, and we've gone almost four minutes, Brian. That's I right. would have never believed that in this game. There's a score. Well, it should have been. The foul stopped one. Foul will be on Kale, I believe. Yeah, the way they're going to guard Aiden, he's going to have to move without the ball. It should create some good backdoor opportunities for him. Aiden Shaw up for his first attempts. Rolls that one in. Second one shot it, got it, and the Eagles lead two to nothing. Arking shot off the glass. Miss. Wow, another foul. Yeah, I believe that's going to be our fourth of the first quarter here. They're going to be shooting free throws shortly. Good contest. We just got to finish the play. Yeah. 
Did I call that one on Deuce? Yes. First free throw was good. Second one off the back of the iron. They're not contesting rebounds. I've seen Don Myers teams and Ralph Turner, who used to coach at Union, now up at O'Brien, do that a lot. That's a better look. That looks better. There you go. Went, That's okay. Drifted inside a little bit. It's coming off the last two fingers a little bit more than it should. He walked, got away with it. Oh, cleaned out by driver then. Wallace Driver with the push off. Well, he pointed at Coe, but okay, he got he pointed at Coe on the ground. I thought he was calling it on him, Coach. I probably Interesting. you probably would have had to held me down then. Cole Vargason to go one on one with Kale. Those going to the hole in that time. Everybody gets excited. We still get the ball back. Yeah, jump stop, shot fake, you, you got a foul there. Yeah. Well, we had miscommunication. We had somebody on our team run at him when he had a driving lane. Brought a defender to him. Good hands by Aiden. Would have loved to have seen what that young man could have done as a wide out. That's got to be a hole, too. Aiden being aggressive there, driving driving to the basket. I think he can do that pretty much whenever he wants to. Yep. Brady Smith with the foul, inbounding Cole Vargason. Oh, here's to Ridgely Reagan. And just a little hard, had a little twist on it. Yeah. Reagan leads fast break and chooses the better point of Balor, but his pass was anticipated. Going in for the layup was Brady Smith. And the Bruins have a one-point lead. Brian, I think we're playing a little tight. Yeah, we are. And another turnover. Yes. It's a great job by Coe, getting back, getting his feet set, taking the hit. Ball inbounded to Vargason. Yes, Jay switching, so switching man-to-man -man is a lot like playing a zone. Here's Rose's shot, didn't get it inside the bracket. Don't get your second, Aiden. Be smart. Mills Terry with the basketball gives it up to Carney. Driver gives it off over to Smith. Smith goes up, and he has a soft touch. He's got four, and the Bruins lead 5-2. We've missed enough shots to be up six. Yep. And again, a turnover. And they throw it away. Smith couldn't get a handle on it. Carlos Robertson, Ridgely back in. And I've got to remember that Carlos is 15 tonight. And folks, if you miss him on the screen, it's like my voice. Uh, his regular jersey is kind of damaged. He'll probably be 15 all year. Nice pass. And you know what? Kelsey Rose put the yo-yo on. What a look by Hayden and then a better finish there by Kelsey. That's just a great play on both ends there. Yeah. Shaw with the assist. And Brian, I missed the USJ foul then. Coach, I, I completely did too. Well, it's 
This is not a good spot to spot foul from depending on the official. Nice free throw by Kelsey. This is a tie ball game. First tie at five. We only had one tie in the girls game. Tucker Jones in the ball game. Here's the steal by Jones. Shaw and a block in the proper call. 24 Finney tried for a great acting job and almost pulled it off. Good call by the officials. Shaw at the line for two. Rolls that one in. Caden Cook into the game, number 24. And he hits both of those. He's got four on the night, but it's not the way you would think he would have four. They got Rose on the block out after the shot. And that'll put Finney at the line for three. I'd like to see it again, Coach. I, I, don't I know. would, too. I wish we had our instant yeah. replay with us tonight. Ferguson back in, Ridgely Reagan back in, 13.6 seconds. Reed Finney can put his team ahead. And he does. Second tie of the night at five, and then again here it's seven, and then they break the tie and take the lead. SJ goes to that 1-1-3. One, one, full, well, he, let, he was going to let him in. I know we weren't, we didn't have him. There we go. They let him in. Kind of surprised they did, but we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Mismatch right there. Yeah, they tried to switch back. Boy, it's Aiden Shaw heavy as it gets down to three tenths of a second. And the clock runs out. Eight to seven, USJ leads our Eagles. Let's take a 30 second timeout. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. We are back, Brian. Some quick thoughts about the first quarter. Yeah, it, you know, it's, it's kind of a boxing match. You go, you go in, you feel your opponent out, and I think that was what was happening. Both teams trying to figure out what, what each team was going to do, what kind of pace they were going to play with. Um, a, a lot of adrenaline going, not a whole lot of offense going. So, you know, we'll, I look for our guys to settle in, uh, start knocking down some shots, and, and let's extend, uh, take this lead and extend it out. USJ made some substitutions. Looks like we are back with our starters. Let's check and see. No, four Deuce of our is starters. In. Yeah. Deuce is in. Good job by Cole Vargason there. Yeah, creating a little bit of that and then taking the body contact from, from Foster there. Well, that rest for Brady Smith didn't last long. No, it won't last long. I guess, Coach, 
Jones put his minute man in. Here's Jenkins kicking out. Shaw's three up just short, bounces off the rim. Finney with the rebound. And they've got it to Mills Terry. Yep. They probably got a half step on Cole. Cole almost had perfect defense, and then he let the guy get a half step on that yo-yo dribble. Still belongs to USJ. And fans, uh, sorry I'm not talking as much as I usually do in a little horse, but we'll be back Tuesday night at our house. We've got games every Tuesday and Friday night with full voice. Let's watch our defense, Brian. And we got a couple of guys you have to really worry about. Brady Smith scored over 1,000 in that classic or tournament at Liberty Tech last week. Good job of picking the pocket. Nice layup. That's supposed to be a technique. Yep. Shot wow. up. Okay, who hit that one for them? Because I missed it. That was Brady Smith. Okay, Brady Smith. Tough shot. Good He's defense. got six. Going up, Jenkins just misses. And they're going to get Deuce with a foul there. Ten nine the score. USJ will back off. Mills Terry with his first points of the night. Still important to block the shooter off on this. And Tucker Jones does a good job as Mills Terry hits his second. And it looks like their strategy is going to go, be to go to this 1-1-3 after every free throw. Good play. I thought I would like to see Ridgely take that up strong, but pass off to DJ, and DJ goes in. And uh, I like him being aggressive, Coach. I think we got to get him some shots. With Aiden drawing their toughest matchup, we need him to assert himself. You're right. First shot rolls off the rim a little bit. Berman Jenkins. Berman is a junior wing player. Wears number two. See Finney going out for them. Second one, hit the back of the iron. He's got a little bit of lean back in yeah. his shot. And Mills Terry does a good job getting to the hole. You got a space. Well, that's one of those little tic-tac turnovers that you don't need. Yep. Mills Terry, who's been hot, has got it out there at NBA range. Flashing through the left-hander. Driver misses it. We get the rebound, but we need to put points. This is an important possession right here, even though it's early in the third quarter, second quarter. Now, I do like Ridgely's penetration. He'll get two free throws. And that looked like that was on Smith. Yep. Second foul, getting a third on him. Coach, that'd be big. Oh, dancing off. We're having a tough time with the rims. When it's a make, it's a United States steel shot when it rolls around there. The irons are act, uh, rims are actually steel now, made out of iron, but they refine it. That one is deadly and in there. First points for Ridgely. We 
They run a lot of cutters through, don't they, Brian? They do. They're moving. Eyes up. And I thought Rose was going to try to lead his own fast break. Yeah, push foul. That's on Foster. They are switching any on Aiden just about every time yeah. to make sure he doesn't get anything. That's their fourth right now, Coach. Let's keep taking Adam, get to the free throw line. Yep. There's the hand check. Coach Jones has been working that particular official the whole game so far. There wasn't even any contact. No contact. I see what he saw, but anyway. Unfortunately, perception's reality, yep. even if the perception is wrong. Smith out of the game for them. Look yep. for offense to run through Terry. Mills Terry is a very good player. I don't remember. I hate to say this. Did he play football for them? He did. I believe he was a receiver. Man. I'm not sure if he was injured or not. Yeah. I know he was banged up some this now, year. That game we had this year at our house is one that our fans won't want to forget for a That's while. Right. Need to go back and watch it, everybody. And that's the Ridgely Reagan we know. Yeah, they don't have a matchup for him, Coach. Anytime Ridgely catches it there, he's got to drive it. Ridgely's got three. He'll get more. Go got to stay down on that one. Yeah, I knew they were going to get that. They'll get that little hand thing that you do when you you got to close out and stay down. Got a sub. Carlos into the game. Carlos, I just – I cannot get used to looking at 15 on him. Driver and Shaw, that's a good matchup too. There's the back cutting you got to watch for. And it tipped around a whole lot. Tucker Jones comes out of there with it, and Shaw's going to take over the point with Vargason in a little bit of foul trouble. Over there. They're going to zone now, looks like. Well, I can't tell if it's – yeah. Nice feed. Just a little short, but we can keep going to that and make some hay while the sun shines. Yeah. Two-point lead for the USJ Bruins. Mills Terry to inbound the ball. Wallace Driver, left-hander, brings it down the floor. We got a steal coming there. You knew that, Carlos, with the big steal. Quickly ahead to Ridgely. Oh, I'd like to see him drop step. Oh. No, no, no. Two fouls on Ridgely. I would have loved to have seen him drop step when he caught it. Not going to harp on it too much. That's a flop. Yep. Jenkins back in the ball game. Looks like Cook is in there also. Interesting. We had a bunch of five-second calls in the first game. We're getting them again now. Yep. Turnover USJ. 14-12, your score, and Shaw will bring it up and run the ball club. Great shot, and he was being double teamed. Yeah, he, he's going to have to shoot up over the top. They're not going to let him drive. Keep taking those. They're going to have to – get up on him where he can drive or back off. Jackson Christian has retaken the lead, 15-14. Good on the ball defense by Jenkins. 
Oh, I thought I saw that pivot foot slide a little bit. Tough matchup for Caden. He's going to stay yeah, down. You know, to some people, the pass looked like it was good. Trust me, with the angle, no way he it was no going to be coming. Yeah, no way it was going to be completed. They call a 30. We're going to take a 30 here on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Network. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And we are back. I was trying to get my feed on my phone back from... Quick thought, Brian. What yeah. do we got to do here? A little more offense that half. We'll see if it continues to pick up. We got to keep keep putting in points while Brady Smith is on the bench. Extended rest for him or with the foul trouble. Fell away just a hair too much and Cook Cook couldn't help it. A body in motion tends to remain in motion yep. and he couldn't pull up. And there's your physics lesson for the day. <laughs> Kelsey Rose going to come back in. And again, I know we've had some nice comments because I'm getting them, some of them on my other phone. First free throw rolls in. That's Redden at the line. And we're tied at 15. Yes, Jay takes the lead back. Back into the 1 1 3. Bargerson in. Jones in. Here's Shaw with the basketball. They fake the trap. Jenkins. Now that looked like the Jenkins I know. Yeah, moving without the ball. He's been patient, not forcing. Great shot there. There's a, that should have been an offensive foul then by Driver. He used his hand to clear out and hook the guy, hook our defender. Nice stop on a very deadly Mills Terry over there by Vargason. Uh, they'll get Tucker for the foul on the floor. No basket, proper call by the official. Still get two shots with the bonus, I believe. Yep. But that is the proper call, and that will send Driver to the line. First shot is up and good. Got both of them. Lead change again with 40 seconds. Here's the 1-1-3, one, one, three, three-quarter court press. And it is not backcourt like the USJ students are begging for. You have to establish everything into the front court. It's a zone now, Brian. Mm -hmm. We've tried the skip pass, and it's too high. Yes, Jay will have 16 seconds to get the last shot of the half. Smart move by Kyle, getting Aiden out. Don't pick up his third. Very good move. Driver out here. And he gets fouled going to the hole. Pretty weak. I think Carlos was expecting a little help. 
And he didn't get enough of it to keep Driver from splitting them. And this one short by Driver. Shaw and Vargason, two pretty good shooters coming in. We'll have three seconds to get something off. He missed both of them. Shaw with the long 50-foot one in, in and out in the half ends with USJ 18, Jackson Christian 17. And uh, have you got a guess, Brian? No. Don't have a guess. We'll take then a two-minute timeout and come back after these important messages. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor work on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. 
You can email or call us for all your team sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Is Old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, Make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. And we are back. I did not see our fine producer Chris's hand signal then. I apologize to him. We are back. I was thinking about, uh, didn't the middle school or is the whole school in Winterfest over at Jackson? Creek? No, that was just a one-night one deal. One-night deal for the middle school? Yeah, just give them a little bit of. I thought that was nice. Yeah, a little taste of, of what they'll get in high school. High school will be a full week coming up here, uh, February, I believe. Um, much different, but. You know, just some something different for those middle school kids and a big win for our middle school team. Absolutely. Brian, before we talk about the basketball game, it's a white knuckler. What else do we have coming up at Jackson Christian? I've seen a lot of things going on in the elementary school, and, of course, there's always something happening in the high school. Yeah, you know, this time of year, um, just a lot of basketball, and, you know, you're getting into the region play, um, and then for too long it'll be – uh, into baseball, softball. Um, so, you know, we're – it's exciting times. We're going to have some uh, – not doing like traditional open house, but we're having a couple discover – calling it discover day and discover night. Um, and that will um, give prospective students a chance to come on campus and tour the building and meet the teachers and come to a basketball game. And um, it's the night of Fate Academy, I believe, February 6th for the secondary building. Um, and so that'll be a good night, a uh, good, good opportunity for us to, to showcase our, our kids and um, all of that stuff. So, you know, exciting time of year. You're coming out of the break, and you know, it's cold outside, but you, you get to play some basketball and um, have, some, have an opportunity to, to show off your school and, and what we have to offer. And we have a lot to offer. I am a former. I had, uh, went through the evaluators training and did some of that, and, troubleshot at some places and uh, even helped uh, Humphreys Academy with their Southern Association uh, evaluation. And we've got great teachers. I've had a chance to talk with, see some of them in action. We've got great students and atmosphere that that I uh, really love over there. And like I said, I'll mention him again, Daniel Green, but Daniel's only one of many fine students that we have. And Daniel has left his own legacy here and we'll see more out of him at UTC and there's a lot happening if you don't check it out you owe it to yourself and your children or your grandchildren to check Jackson Christian out that's right Brian 1817 we can play better what do we need to do in the second half I, I think we need to continue to uh, put the pressure on them uh, you know they're obviously focused in on Aiden so it's going to be tough for him to get to the basket continue to see him take those threes. Um, and, and I think Ridgely and, and DJ Jenkins have good matchups. It depends on if they're in the zone or not. But I think we drive it and try to draw fouls um, and, and kind of expose uh, some of our secondary matchups, which I think we can. Absolutely. Drive and kick, cut, and if you stand, you I can guard a tree. Brian can guard a tree now. I don't know if we can guard anything that's moving, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, uh, not for very long, probably. They took a little time off the clock because they added some for the halftime, and so they've taken off. We're down to a minute and four, and we're going to keep it here, but let me go over some scoring in the first half very quickly. Aiden Shaw had seven, <coughs> Berman Jenkins two, Kelsey Rose three, 
Originally, Reagan had three all coming in the second quarter. Deuce Larts with two for USJ, four for Mills Terry. Wallace Driver had two. Sam Cale did not score for them. Brady Smith, six. Hayes Carney, one. And Reed Finney, three. Uh, they were eight for 13, Brian, from the free throw line. We were six for nine. Yeah, we, you know, uh, a couple of free throws. If we knock them in, you know, we're up here two or three points. And so, you know, I look for this coach to stay like this, a back and forth game, a very tight game. And, you know, it might come down to who has possession last and, and who knocks down a big shot. You're absolutely correct. And we are just about ready for some action. And again, I wish I could read out the names. We've evidently got a lot, but I'm having a little trouble with my iPhone picking it up. It didn't want to connect to the internet here at USJ very well. And, uh, but we got a great crowd here, a great basketball game. Girls lost the first one, but they played their hearts out and had a really great first half. Here's Shaw with it. And uh, Jenkins has it left wing. Good screen. Get it to him a quick, quicker and just a second quicker. Shaw had a layup. Here we go. Rose, the Euro step, overshot it. Tries to get his own rebound, throws it off. Of he shouldn't have been able to catch it, but they let us. Yep. Unless it was tipped. I don't know. It might have been a lot of action. And sorry about being a little hoarse tonight, but didn't have any voice for the two days prior. Here's one of those. We almost had a turnover and recovered very quickly. No, it's not a travel. That's it's a not. tough call with the Euro step in now. Kyle, Kyle doesn't think so. USJ coming down for their first possession. Oh, that foul's on Shaw. And I've got to believe that was part of the plan was to come straight at Shaw. Yeah, and maybe if he goes straight up there, I guess, but didn't see a lot of contact. First free throw, good. Second one, good. Ains got three, right? Yes, he's got three yeah, now. Be careful. We'll have to change our matchups. They trapped to get him out of the ball. Ridgely takes it, left it just a little short. Shaw gets the rebound. Here's Shaw going to the hole. Little dipsy dude didn't get it in the box. It's off and rebounded by Hayes Carney. Missed shot. Berman with the rebound. There's a three. Up and good. He got bumped too, just like they called one earlier. Jenkins with the three. Five points tonight. Shot missed. Holy cow. We got to attack the boards there. Big shot on that end by DJ and looked a little bit of contact, but didn't get that one. Kale 0 for 2 normally scores a ton of points for them. That one rolls out too. Score is tied at 20. Kale's second one off. Rebound Reagan. Now they're going to try to trap Shaw. They didn't get there quick enough. Wow, nothing. And a nice fast break for them. Mills Terry with his first two of this half, six tonight. Mm -hmm. 
They played that one well. They scouted that one. That's one of our best plays, though, yeah, right there. It's going to get scouted. You just got to call it at the right time. Yep. Get people thinking about other stuff. Up, they'll get Ridgely. That's his third, if I have it right. And it's hard to tell foul sometimes here. Did I see that right? Yeah. If that's the case, that's Ridgely's fourth. Yeah, he's going to sit probably for this quarter, so you miss him on both ends of the floor. I could have sworn step up. the USJ player cleared out. Yeah. Second one good, and it is a three-point lead for USJ. Falling away, I'd rather see Aiden go straight up when he does that. Smith, his shot no good, rebound. Kelsey Rose, he'll give it to Shaw. Dodged a bullet there. And again, a fall away did not go down. Running one-hander. Smith does a good job of that. Yeah, he's good. He plays with pace, under control. I thought Kyle tried to get a timeout. No, he's trying to get a delay a game where oh. they kick the ball. Oh, man. Well, there should have been a warning. Comes Carlos Robertson back in the ball game. Cole Vargason out. Got to buckle down, play tight defense, and Kyle does take a timeout. We'll take a 30 second timeout on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And we are back 25-20. Important defensive possession here with 436 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, the way they play defense, you don't want an extended lead here. Nice drive by Berman Jenkins. Got five in the quarter. Now another good defensive stand wouldn't hurt, would it? Nah, uh, dig in. Carlos just got to get out of way with a push. <laughs> Quickly down into the forecourt. Deuce Robinson, the deuce is loose. Big shot by Deuce. Stealing some of that momentum back. In no, no, no. And that's Deuce Lawrence, not Robertson. What in the world happened while I was straightening out my scorebook? They drive, and, and Kelsey, pretty good defense. Um, got a blocking foul. That's the first hit after being 0 for 4 by Sam Cale. Tucker Jones coming in.
Second went off. Berman goes up to get it. They want to make sure I'll give it up every chance they get to. Uh-oh, that, that time we didn't make connections. Smith's had six in it in the first half, and now he's got six in this quarter. They've got a three-point lead. Berman Jenkins up, no good. Rebound. Fall four and driver pulls her out. Pulls it down. And we lost somebody then, and Finney was back behind everybody. Yeah, they stole the momentum right back for us after us tying it up. Yep. 5-0 run, I believe, by USJ. Yep. Deuce Lawrence wants to go back door. They recovered well. They're covering behind in case Aiden beats them. He got through, but it came off the glass wrong, and Finney with the rebound, he'll lead his own break for USJ. Kale's pushing off, yeah. Bargeson coming back into the game. And they play in that switching man defense, and they're really letting Mills Terry sag off so he can help out a lot. Shaw will go to the line. Yeah, good, good drive shot, as yeah. he knocks that one down. Good drive by Aiden. He's got to keep being aggressive, even though he's having trouble finishing inside. You know, some of those I'd like to see him pull up and just go over people. They're not super tall, Coach, but they're long, and they protect the basket pretty well. They bump you with their body pretty good, yeah. too. And we can't keep picking fouls like that up now. If that's Deuce Lawrence, that's his third. Shot it, got it. It's 32-27 with a minute 50. No shot. Wow. Well. We'll get it on the baseline. Yep. I thought they stripped it as he was going up for the shot. Shaw has it out front. Right move, and even though it was a roller, it went in. Good tough drive, finished through the contact. Important stretch right here. Good help by Jenkins. They switch. They being... Deuce Lawrence on the switch. Good job, Tucker Jones, but he wasn't able to retrieve it to knock it away. Driver falling away and hits the three. It's a big shot. Yes, it was. We need to score here, yeah, not two, three, and then we almost have a turnover. Kelsey Rose coming back in. Yeah. 
Very physical ball game. Very. Jenkins pulls up. Got it. Shot it, got it. He's having a big quarter. He's got seven. Yeah. I know where the shooters are with 17 seconds. And let's not give the non-scorers or non-penetrators anything to work with. Shot falls away. Yep. See if we can get something out of it. Shaw will take a long throw at it. Yes. It's good for let's three. Go. Big shot. What a shot by Aiden Shaw. Money time. Let's take a 30-second timeout and recover. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. Hold on, hold on to your hats, catch your breath, and uh, I haven't had time to recover, Brian. Yeah, driver hits a big three, and then Aiden comes down. I thought he wasn't going to get it off, coach, and stayed under control, knew how much time he had, and, and put that one in, cutting it to a one-point game going to the fourth quarter. So, this, it, you know, one-point game at half, one-point game going into the fourth. This is where you want to be. And we talked about it being a tight game back and forth. Absolutely. Shaw leads all Jackson Christian scores with 13. Brady Smith has 12 for USJ. And uh, you talk about a white knuckler. I think we've had everything go wrong. It's a Murphy's Law game for us, and we're still down just one. Yeah, and look for that to get Aiden going. There's some momentum carrying over into the fourth quarter. They're not starting the clock. There we go. Got to come to him. Got to have some help, gentlemen. We forced it, but the tip knocked it out to Deuce. Deuce is shot off. Good fight. Rebound fought for. I think they're going to call a foul, though, and not a jump ball. No way. On. There have been some very interesting calls in this game. Kelsey's diving on the floor, getting after it. All you can ask for. One point game, USJ with the basketball. They run their cutters to the top and cut through the lane. Little dribble drive here. And if you wonder where Ridgely Reagan is, he's got four fouls. Yeah, he's got to buy a little more time. Got to buy a little more time for him to, to step, be able to stay in this game. It'll be a big a big lift when he comes off the bench. Good defense. We touched it last. Great defense then. But, oh, come on. There was had to be a foul. They barred his arm. Under control. Kyle calls the timeout. Set our offense. We'll take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Network. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. And we are back and we thank Chris for putting up with me uh, getting caught up in all kinds of other things, trying to get my notes from Facebook working and uh, Brian, we really need a score this time. Yep. There'll be several points in the game like that, but to give us a little momentum, we, we're playing good, and that shot by Shaw of the three helped. There's Tucker cutting through, and can't hold the ball loosely or they'll rip it away. Lawrence gets it back and goes to the hole, but a little off the back of the iron. 
Driver with it quickly to Terry. Terry wants to go to the hole. Here is Tucker Jones coming out of there with a steal. He goes up. And a good call by that's the proper yeah. call by the official. Did you see the man falling too soon? Yeah. Good drive by Tucker. He got kind of caught in no man's land, but able to make something happen out of it. That's on the shot. If they reverse this. Yeah, there okay, we go. Okay, there we go. Tucker Jones at the line. It'll be his first time at the line tonight. Jackson Christian trails by one. Stay with it. Missed the first one. USJ with substitution. Looks like they're bringing Carney back in. Second one missed. We're going to get the rebound, though. Deuce Lawrence alertly picks it up, gives it to Shaw. Still trailing by one here in the fourth quarter. Shaw falling away, and that's the amount he missed by is the amount he fell away. I would have to say, gentlemen, you play ball, I'll officiate, and let the coaches coach. That's right. A little too much argument under the net. That looked like that's Finney coming back in the ball game rather quickly. Tail is out. Oh, we didn't see it. You know, we almost got a five count there. Done. Got to clear out and get space. That one I could give, I want the call, but I could give credence to it going either way. I could see it either way. Yeah. I think it was the hand coming down. Oh, what touch that time. That one was destined to go off the rim and the kick back put it in. It's tied at 35 and he missed his first free throw tonight. Berman with the rebound. Berman, turn around, jump him. Bottoms. His 11th point. He elevates, Coach. He's tough to defend the way he elevates over the top. He really is. In the times I've talked to him, what a nice young man. Boy, Cook is fired up. You got to love it. Great job by Caden using his length there. Caden Cook all fired up there. Those of you listening to the Saturday Sports Roundup, you probably hear Bill and Greg Van Store. You won't hear much out of me tomorrow. My voice is almost gone. Tucker Jones gets after it. Good defensive series so yeah, far. Yeah, we're, we're doing a great job. We can be aggressive, only have one team foul. Stay down. He wants to drive. Trust me, he doesn't want to shoot. I'm coaching from up here. Jones, he getting after Terry. Shot partially blocked. Berman had it. He was fouled. I didn't see who uh, the foul them? for okay. USJ went. Oh, it was on USJ. Yeah. When they hacked down, you knew it was coming. Still in that 1-1-3 one, one, press or if you want to call it a 1-1-2-1. One, one, one. Berman's going to the line. Yeah, it's, it, Jenkins can kind of feel it right now. You can feel him kind of take over the game. Uh, Coach, and he's plenty, plenty capable of doing that. Let's hope he knocks down these two. I believe that foul was on Mills, Terry. Here's two. And the first of two is good. So he's now one for three after missing his first two free throws. Second one up and good, and we have a four-point lead with 5.22. Yeah, let's sit down and play right here. I bet at the four-minute mark we'll see Ridgely come back in, hopefully. 
Oh, a clean steal. Deuce couldn't corral it quick enough, and USJ got back. Give Carney credit for getting back to stop us. Jenkins is feeling it. Yeah, he, he's trying to work one-on-one, -on -one, but let's move, though. Shaw with the left end. Big time run there, Coach. Big time. We're going to keep it here. Your thoughts on that run? Yeah, absolutely. We, you, you kind of felt it. We were trying to extend it. Uh, and then, you know, DJ talking about Jenkins talking, take, trying to take over a little bit. And that gets them extended on him, so it opens up the lane there for Aiden. And Aiden just kind of more of a simple left-handed finish there instead of the, the kind of English he's been putting on it tonight. Would you say that was vintage Aiden Shaw? That's, that's what we need right there. Yes, sir. And uh, I believe Coach Jones took a full timeout. So this this is a – you finally feel like that it, it's been a close game, but you finally feel like we have some momentum. So hopefully coming out of the timeout, we're able to uh, keep that going. I think this is the first time we've had some true momentum, and you got to give Jeff Jones credit for a good timeout to try to Yeah, and, and he's a great coach, and he's about to make an adjustment. Um, and, you know, we'll see, we'll see what he comes up with. I'm going to say that they're going to try to play through Brady Smith um, and, and get him a shot right here. I do want to thank two people from the USJ staff. First of all, Martha Sheffield, who got me their rosters, and uh, also thank uh, their AD. Uh, Derek Pritchard has been very nice today when I saw him. And we appreciate their help. Feet moving a little quicker. Yeah, if we're going to switch, we got to make sure we communicate. There we go. They like this in the high post. They went to him. We didn't block out. That one was scored by Hayes Carney. His third point of the game. And I think we're going to talk about it. We'll take the timeout this time. Let's take a 30-second timeout. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And we're back for more exciting fourth quarter action. And they really made their press a 1-1-1-2. One, 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 so far, we've handled it right. We got it back in the middle. Tucker did a good job. Berman's got it. Shaw cuts back door. They're holding him. A little bit of ice Here's on Berman that side. going up. He got his hand hit yep. and partially blocked, maybe. Off balance. USJ with the rebound quickly into the forecourt. They found Carney. We blocked it but he'll get two shots, no basket. The foul is on Jenkins is what I surmise. Yeah. Ridgely Reagan getting ready to check in for the last 359. Okay, that makes Hayes Carney one for three from the free throw line, that's a fact that you need to remember. Uh, Cook, who gave us some good minutes, and boy, big, did he get after time. it a while ago. Yeah, big time minutes from Caden Cook. Second one up and good. So, Carney is two for four from the free throw line tonight. There we go, return it to the middle. There we go. That's the way you break a press, yep. side, middle, side. Back door by, they got it, but here comes Shaw straight up. Aiden. Aiden probably got away with the walk, yeah, but we're going to get underneath. the basketball. Good play there by Smith. They did a good job, and Aiden relaxed a little bit. 
you know, there's a lot of ifs. If we'd been able to get the ball to Berman on his right side instead of his left, he goes up and hits two. Then we have the unfortunate bounce off. Wow. I get it, but it's a little – I get With the everything foul. else going on. But I've seen muggings <laughs> yeah. that happened in this game that didn't get called. Driver with the basketball about 30 feet from the goal. Carlos Lawrence – or Deuce Lawrence with it out there wanting to guard him. The number change I'll have to get used to it has messed me up. I have our numbers memorized till we had a damaged jersey. Blocked cleanly. There's a foul by Carney that got didn't get called. Too much spin, uh. too much. That's when adrenaline flows too much. And we kicked the ball out of bounds. Good call by the official. Yeah, we had two good looks at it. Let's circle that one, Coach. Hope that didn't come back to get us right there. Yep. We didn't have anybody block out. Two misses. Three misses. Oh, come on. They pushed. Yeah, they, they pushed got it on down. him. Should be free throws. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Berman at the line tonight. He's two for four, missed his first two. Oh, he missed that one. And he had hit his last two. We're trying, yeah, blow the horn. Had a hard time getting subs in tonight. Yes, very interesting. I see is that Coach Wyatt over there with the book. Yes, sir. Berman drills that string music. He's got five in this quarter. Kale, that's his first three. Big shot by the freshman. Yes, it is. 42-41. And we're going to take a 30-second timeout. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And we are back. 2.17 to go in the contest, a one-point game. Brian? Yeah, you know, that was a big three. We hit a big three. Uh, they respond here with a big three of their own from freshmen, and, and we'll see how we respond coming out of this. Well, up until tonight, Kale has been scoring well for them. Don't need to be in a hurry. Run our offense. It was a long pass. There's a foul on Carney then. We're not getting any breaks, I will tell you that. He's, He's out, out of bounds. bounds. Uh, I hate to be ugly like this, but put your whistle in your mouth yeah. and blow it. Yeah. I've officiated before, so I, I've earned some rights. And I like the way Jeff Jones handled that too. He's a very good coach, just like our coach. Two fine ones. One a little older than the other one. Oh, 
Jenkins three, up and down. Big shot, DJ. Four point lead. No, no, on the no floor. NBA continuation, it's gotta be on the floor. They gave him continuation. There is no continuation. In yeah, that's on the floor. Free throw up and good. One oh seven, one point lead, Jackson Christian Shaw, 45 feet away from the basket. Cutters going through. Got to watch the five second count. Broke it there. Came out the wrong side, but they fouled him. Yeah. Good drive. Shaw has been pretty good at the free throw line. He does have one miss. That one was nothing but string music. Joe Dean would be proud of me saying that. You're right about we are having trouble getting substitutions. I don't know if it's because the if we're not getting all the way over, but that, that table is close to the court. Two of them in there for Shaw. Kyle's going to take a full timeout. Kyle's going to take a timeout. We're going to take a 30-second timeout and come back with 48-second action. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. And we are back in this white knuckler, breathtaking game. Brian, some quick thoughts about what that needs to happen for us in this 48 seconds. Uh, I like our three-point lead here. Uh, Coach Jones could be drawing up something for a three, but if I'm him, uh, I think he's probably going to create with Mills Terry and, and see if we help off. Uh, Mills is, is able, he's that used his body, get in the lane, uh, try to draw a foul here. The next foul puts us into the bonus. I'd um, say his next option would be Brady Smith. Yeah, I, I think we're going to try to cover him up. Aiden's done a good job with him. And so uh, look, for, look for Terry to be the matchup here. And I see a great picture we had a minute ago of our student body. Boy, we're back behind our bench over there. Yes, Jay runs America's play to Brady Smith. Yeah. And it is an offensive foul. This young man has made the proper call. They had to let him through. They, they kept holding him up. And, folks, if you want to go back and watch it, the play is called America's play. They have two high screens. You run your good shooter through that. Let him shoot one from the top of the circle. And to Shaw with 38 seconds and counting. And they're going to play Shaw about as tight as you can. Somebody will run and try to double him in a minute. There's the double coming. Oh, to Berman Jenkins. He kicks it off. Cole Vargason starts, shoot, gets it to Shaw. They got a foul. Three-point lead, and they put Shaw at the line. I thought Coe was going to let it fly, Coach. <laughs> uh, he had the awareness to, to, to pull it out. Nothing but string music again. Four-point lead with 20.2 seconds. Tucker Jones in. Shaw with a big free throw right here. Ah, it stay missed. with it. Time running, though. Don't foul. Missed shot, Ridgely Reagan with the rebound. He's fouled by Carney. 11.3 seconds. Eagles fans feeling it a little bit right now, coach, but we still got work to do. 
Still got to knock down these free throws. No, these are big free throws. This could, if he hits both of them, it could put it at two three-pointers. Got five fouls on Yeah, five Barney. fouls. I'm wondering what this is the referee that was really yeah. pushing on Kyle a while ago to get somebody in. It wasn't even close to 30 seconds. Ridgely Reagan at the line for two big free throws. He eyes it, and it hits the back of the iron. Timeout called here, a full one. We'll take a one-minute timeout and come back with more. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Ridgely Reagan for his second free throw. Shot up and good. Now that was smooth. Don't foul. Seven seconds, shot up. It's going to be over. Light up your victory cigars. And a foul. No foul. And they're going to say the game's over, but there was a foul there. Jackson Christian has won this game 49-44. Some thoughts before we take a timeout and come back with final comments and stats. Yeah, I, I'm still trying to process that last play, Coach. That was DJ, a DJ trying to end it with a send a message, and, and I thought it should have been a foul. But, man, what a, what a great job by our guys to keep fighting, to take a couple blows there, and then respond with a run of our own. Uh, great fan support. Great job by uh, our guys to go 1-0 uh, in the region. Well, I know our players have to be happy with our fans. Look at the support they got over there. Two great basketball teams on the floor. And I see both of the heads of both schools out there talking to each other. Of course, I talked with Don Rowe there. And we're going to take a timeout. Let me catch my voice. And we'll be back after a two-minute timeout. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing, so you pay what we pay. Plus, over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at carlocknissanofjackson.com. You should already be here.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And we are back. A happy scene. We split tonight, but I'm proud of our girls, how hard they played tonight. The whole game had a great first half. We get to play the Lady Bruins again later in the season. But the boys game tonight, a real thriller. A white knuckler winds up Jackson Christian 49, USJ 44. Jackson Christian showed a lot of metal because as Brian's going to tell you in a minute, we didn't have many things go right for a long time. It was what I call a Murphy's Law game. And here's Brian Bullard to tell you about the game. Yeah, Coach, it, you know, we talked about it as a one-point game. Um, we, we're not in as good of an offensive rhythm as we normally are, and credit to their defense and their coaching plan. Uh, we knew it was going to be that kind of style, but our guys stuck with it. I think they went up seven there maybe in the third quarter, but our guys didn't, didn't wilter, um, you know, didn't fall away. We, we stayed with it. Stayed physical, um, made some big shots down the stretch. Can't say enough about D.J. Jenkins and his offense and uh, Aiden Shaw, of course, doing what he does. But, Coach, Caden Cook um, coming in, just getting his hands on the basketball, blocking shots, getting rebounds. Tucker Jones playing some big minutes down the stretch, doing doing what Tucker does out there on the floor. Deuce Lawrence with the big three. Um, a, a lot of this tonight was role players. Um and, and that's big for Kyle and, and our staff going forward because you know what Aiden's going to do. We'll, we know what, what uh, DJ's going to do for us. And, and another thing, Coach, is Ridgely didn't have a Ridgely game. Uh, got in foul trouble, wasn't able to stay out on the floor. Um, but, you know, he played hard, and him coming back in there at the end uh, gives us another ball handler against the press. You can't say enough about these guys. You go down seven points, you stay in the game, you come back, you get a win on their home floor. Um, and, and you start and you go home a winner. Absolutely. And Brian said it all. I'm again, I apologize to all y'all for the voice. I wouldn't have missed this one for anything. Uh, I would have had to have been dead to have missed tonight's games. And our kids showed their medal. The USJ kids played hard. And of course, I, I have fun. I get to work with Brian every ball game, and he and I will be there for the TCA game at our house. And it's out of the frying pan and into the fire. But for USJ tonight, uh, Terry had six. Driver had six. Kale had four. He had a big three-pointer late for them. Brady Smith, their leading scorer, um, he had 12. He did not score, Brian, in that important fourth quarter. Um, Carney had four. These are unofficial. I actually make that five for Carney. See a point I didn't credit him with. And Reed Finney had five points. He hit three big free throws in that first quarter for us. Aiden Shaw, your leader unofficially with 19 points. He was 10 of 12 at the free throw line. Yeah, he earned all that too. Yeah, absolutely. A young man that had no points in the first quarter, had an okay second quarter. He only scored two and missed his two free throws. And then he came back with a vengeance in the second half with 17 points total for the game. Hit some key free throws down the line. Kelsey Rose had three. Ridgely Reagan had four. Deuce Lawrence had five. Ben Vargerson uh, didn't score, but played some good defense and made some key passes. But Deuce Lawrence, five. And Carlos Ro Robertson with a new number wearing 15 blade hard while he was in there. Tucker Jones, Caden Cook. Brian, you're right about the uh, people that came off the bench. Yep. We'll give you one more set of comments, and then I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, Coach, you, you battled through this one, and uh, we battled, and our girls did too. And it's a, you know, I'm excited about what both of these teams are going to do coming down the stretch. And it, the good news is we get to broadcast it and be a part of it. Go Eagles. Absolutely. And, again, for the administration of Jackson Christian and for USJ, we want to thank both administrations. We want to thank both athletic directors. But more importantly, this game, there are some great sponsors and the staff. Christopher Reasons, without him, probably wouldn't have seen the game tonight. <clears throat> also, Adriana Bolin, Andrew Burris, and the one and only executive producer, director, guy that writes the paychecks and pitches in and works at the broadcast, Paul Schultze. 
it's time to remind you that this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or further use of this contest without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is prohibited. Thanks for your time this time. Till next time, good night all. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.